This here is Horizon 360. Now, check out Horizon. XboxMB.com. That would be Xbox M as in message, B as in board.com. Now, when you get Horizon, you can't do anything but mod a couple games. Forza is what they call a premium mod. And in this thing, we have it's that we have a couple. It's only a beta for right now, as you can see. Beta. You can go over. You have Assassin's Creed 2, Crackdown 1, Crackdown 2, Dead Rising. Yeah, you can read. All right, if you can't read, too bad. Now, um, we've also got ODST. We got Reach, Left 4 Dead, Oblivion. That one, whatever. Fuck. Sonic the Hedgehog, Test Drive Unlimited, and Wet. Another cool thing that we have on this thing is profile mods. We can unlock achievements. We can change the color of our avatar. We can edit our profile data. We can go ahead and we can set a crown on there. One year, two years, three years, four years, five years, whatever. We can also set milestones. Yes, it, this, this editor does work. I have done it to my profile. You can also change your motto. If you, you can't type in code of conduct on Xbox Live. You pull your profile onto here and you can type code of conduct. Look like a little badass if you wanted to. Um, We've also got Castle Crashers mod tool, the Halo Reach credit editor. What you do is you extract your gamer tag off the thing because the credits are based by your gamer tag. Um, once you open your damn gamer profile that you have extracted to your desktop, you open it and then it'll say add credits. I don't recommend adding anything but maybe 12,000 credits at the most. Um, but I don't really play Halo, but that's what people say in the diamond chat, which is over here. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, we got Castle Crashers, Red Faction Gorilla, um, ID Finder, Package Manager, you got a Gamer Card Viewer, I can pull up some random person's Gamer Card, like, Major Nelson usually pulls up almost instantaneously, um, let's see, what's a random person, mm, let's see, let's go, let's look up one of my friends. Eat a bullet. One. Just search for the gamer tag. Oh, look, there it is. Pulls up anybody's gamer tag. Also, let's see, I'll pull up mine. And you'll see, I haven't been on Xbox for a year, but I had my I damn 12,000 shit. I have my privacy set to, yeah. But uh, everything else works good. Um, let's see. Yeah, my privacy settings. Um, and, uh, don't make the numbers off the series. But yeah, you can do a bunch of shit with this thing. It's only five dollars a month to do quick fix. If you have something, you just find a profile that needs to be quickly fixed, and you just click that. It rehashes and resigns it. So that's all that does. Um, but for right now, like I said, it's only a beta, but there's a lot of different mods you can do on this thing. Like for Assassin's Creed, you can max out the money. Crackdown, you can put your hidden and your agility all the way up. Restore all the orbs, remove all the orbs, and whatnot. Crackdown 2, you can do your agility, explosives, strength, firearms, and driving, uh, dead rising. You can do your level, your PP, your money, and dead space. You do your credits. Most of them are just credit mods. Now for Halo, you can do your ammo and clip, one, two, and three. You can do grenades and shields. Um, Halo ODST is pretty much the same. And you can also go to max health, which is pointless, but yeah, you can do that. Um, you've got a Halo Reach. And this is ODST. We just uh, they added new ones. Um, with this one, you can do your clips for one and two. You can do your your uh, frag grenades and your damn plasma grenades. Your shields and your health. Your max vehicle shields. And yes, these all work. They have been tested. They all work. Um, Left for dead. I don't even really want to fuck with that. But uh, Oblivion, it this is just endless. If you play Oblivion, you might want to spend the five dollars a month if you like playing Oblivion. Uh, you can do everything on here. You can just you can just change absolutely everything. So I mean, it's just unreal. This one you just you contraband your ammo category, your ammunition, it's about it. Sonic, 
I wouldn't even expect much. I expect to only have gold rings to be traded. You know, if you test drive your, your credits and your stake, for wet, you point shotgun machine gun blow dart. Castle Crashers. Your gold agility, defense, and magic and strength. You soon reach already, like I said. You can just you can open up your own gamer tag. You extract your gamer tag, like if you were going to mod it. Then you played Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if anybody did or what. Uh, that game was kind of gay. But um, they're actually working on a Black Ops mod tool right now that's undetectable. Red Faction, you just get your experience points. Uh, for tools, it's got the gamer card view. In fact, it's not even title ID founder. You know, just random. You just put a profile on here. I mean, see, I don't know if this one opens it. I think this is a null and void profile towards this. But nope, nope. See, there goes. Display names player one. Forza, Forza three. Uh, view the package contents. Get the profile, the play database, the version flags, the journal, all that stuff. Um, and uh, let's see, miscellaneous is just the about. That's the website you go to to get this program. Very useful tool if you like to cheat, since all this stuff's new. But um, let's go over here and let's put some fuckers down real quick, thinking that the Forza mod tool does not work. Let's see. We're going to open up a save. So six 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 zero zero, right? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Nine hundred ninety nine million nine 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 nine. That's max money on Forza Motorsport three. Now the max experience for level fifty is two zero three zero 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 zero. That's it. Keep going higher, you get instantly banned. And the max level is fifty. What you do is you save it. It says re saved, rehashed, resigned. Okay. All right. Once you do that, you close it. You open up your USB X Tap Explorer, which I have uh, right here. I don't have my USB stick in right now because that's just the spare profile I have off there. You open that and you go. I don't want to be slow shit. You go file, open device, and then you have the E00. You keep clicking until you find the. Uh, it says Forza Profile right there, which that's where you would have extracted this from. You click that one and you save it to the desktop, and boom, it'll be right there. After you do that, you just X out of that and. Uh, <coughs> You go ahead and you open up this thing, you do the fours or three edit. Once you finish, you save, you rehash and resign, you close the little box that pops up. So after it saves, you just X out of that, open this program back up, and then you click on the one that's still in here. You click on the one that will be up here, it says for the profile, and you highlight it and you click delete. And then you go and you click inject, and uh, it ain't gonna let me do it. But um you take, you press inject, you go to your desktop, you find the Forza profile, and then you click uh, open, and uh, it would put it on there. After that, you'd X out, you take this, you can minimize X out, do what you want, um, and after that, you just go down to the bottom menu, your uh, system tray, and uh, you click safely remove hardware. You don't just want to pull the USB stick after you What you want to do is you want to just safely remove hardware, because you're just yanking it out, click corrupt the profile. So, uh, you just safely remove the hardware, eject the, the USB device, whatever, um, and then once you eject it, you go and put it in your Xbox, you load it up, and boom, you got it. So, but if you don't believe me, then go check out XboxMB.com, you'll find out. It's $5 a month, or you can get a one-year membership for 50 bucks.